guys and welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So today we're going to continue our look at the Takara Tomy dinosaur figure line by looking at these two, the big contenders. We've got the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Triceratops. So to kick off, let's look at the pamphlet that came with this guy. You can see we've got a lot of Japanese lettering going on here and you can see the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Very nice indeed. And then over here we've got a rest of the Takara Tomy line. You can see we've got the Triceratops, the Stegosaurus, the Allosaurus, the T-Rex and the Spinosaurus. We have already reviewed these three, so if you want to check out the videos, check out the links down below. We've got the Triceratops here, looks really interesting. And then you can see we've got some more Japanese lettering, same on the reverse. And again, this is just the rest of the line. We haven't picked up the Tyrannosaurus skeleton yet, but if you guys feel like you want to see this one reviewed as well, do let us know in the comments below. So I'm really excited to get these two out of the packaging and put them on display next to each other. As you may know, they both lived in the Cretaceous period and were involved with scraps. We know that because we found evidence in the fossils. Um, so that's really cool and it'd be great to see these next to each other. Let's kick off with the Triceratops. As with all of the Takara Tomy dinosaur lines that we've reviewed, they come in parts, which is half the fun because you have to build these guys. And you can see here, we've got the body of the Triceratops with three legs attached. Uh, we've got one separate leg. We've got the uh, upper and lower jaw, and then we've got two horns. The Triceratops also comes with this really nice display base, complete with peg holes for his feet. And you can see there's a nice little gold plaque at the front there in Japanese lettering, and it's translated underneath it says Triceratops. Really, really nice. All that remains is to get this Triceratops assembled and on his base. So here is the Triceratops to Karatomi figure assembled and on his base. And I think he looks absolutely tremendous. A really lovely paint job and a careful sculpt. What's always staggering about the Takara Tomy dinosaurs is the size. Considering the size, here's my thumb. You can see how small this figure is, but the detail is absolutely astounding. I'll just give you a quick 360 on the turntable here so you can get a better look at him from all angles. But it's really, really nice. And I think some of the separation on the parts really pays off well, especially if you look at these horns. I think the paint job that we've got there is really clear cut and nice. It's a really nice contrast to the rest of this figure. So starting off with the head sculpt, you can see we've got a really realistic looking eye. I can't get over the way they've crammed so much detail into such a small figure. You can see my thumbnail here. Look at the size of that eye. They've even managed to give it some dinosaur eyeliner, which I've brought up before in videos. Um, but it really does make the eye stand out and look very naturalistic. I think it also creates that simulation of like the shadow that you get when you've got harsh sunlight coming down on the eye. It creates that little shadow um, across the eyeball and I think that's what it is. It just really seats the eye and makes it look very realistic. They've even taken the care to sculpt a beautiful interior of the mouth. I mean look, this is my finger here, you know? This is tiny, tiny, tiny detail. So it's absolutely staggering that they've got this amount of detail into their figure. Lovely weathering on all of the horns, a really nice little paint job, um, and some nice airbrushing going on. Look at this, you know, the way you've got some nice contrast going on around the frill, got some nice little mixes of green and sort of a, a greyish beige as well. It's just absolutely fantastic. Really like this one. As we move down the neck, you can see we've got some nice creases going on all the way underneath. And I love this posing as well, the way you've got one foot lifted. I mean, you just wouldn't expect it for a, you know, a figure of this size. They've really gone to a great deal of care. As we move on to the torso, you can see the faint uh, protrusion of ribs there. Really, really nice. Got some nice little bumps going along the rest of the body. Nice little veining going on underneath there. Really, really nice. And you can make out the musculature of the leg here, you can see the striations of the muscles. Really, really nice. Really cool. And you can see you've got individually painted toe claws there. I think they might have missed off a couple, but to be honest, when you're dealing with something this size, uh, you can't really hold that against them. Again, really nicely sculpted tail, with some nice striations sculpted in. Same on the other side here, lovely. Really nice mix of colours. You can tell they've really been careful with the airbrush. You've got some really nice sort of, you know, delicate mixtures of a sort of a lighter cream and then this sort of bluish grey. I'm just going to take him off his base a second because he wants to come off. And we can just get a closer look. 
really sort of elephantine skin going on here. Really, really naturalistic. And I love the contrast of this bluish grey into this sort of light beige. Really, really nice. Lovely creasing going on. I mean, for something of this scale, this really is staggering. Uh, so these really are worth a look if you haven't seen these already. And then as we move back onto the head again, probably the eye on this side isn't as good as the one on the other side. That one looks a little bit more realistic, but it's still cool anyway. Looks really nice. Beautiful. Okay, so moving on, let's take a look at the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So here is the Tyrannosaurus Rex out of his packaging, and I'm really excited about this guy. Tyrannosaurus Rex is one of my favorites, and uh, this one actually seems to have um, like a feathery coating, which is really impressive and up to date for a dinosaur figure. Um, you can see this one comes with two legs separate. Um, the body and the um, upper jaw is joined, and then you've got the lower jaw and the tail here. Just like the Triceratops, we've got this wonderful display base with two peg holes, and you can see we've got a gold plaque um, that says in Japanese, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, time to get this guy assembled and on his base. Okay, so here he is assembled and on his base, the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I just think this looks absolutely beautiful. To give you again some idea of the scale, here is my thumb. He's a little bigger than the Triceratops, but still the scale and the detail is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to give you a little 360 on the turntable. A really nice um, coloration. I haven't seen this sort of understated coloration used on a T-Rex before. They've gone almost for like a sort of, again, almost like an elephantine grey. But then they've gone for this nice mix of sort of uh, creamy white and brown feathers. And it's a really bird-like look. Um, it feels very much like an ostrich um, or some kind of big bird. So that's really cool. Okay, let's take a closer look at this guy. Okay, so starting off with the head sculpt, I would say the eye isn't as good as on the Triceratops. It just doesn't look as realistic, um, but it's still very nice indeed. Unfortunately, we've got a little bit of blobbing with the paint on the lower jaw there. You can see the teeth, the white has kind of blobbed together, so there's a little bit of a paint flaw on mine, but that doesn't mean that will happen on yours. What I do like is the sculpting here in the corners of the mouth, uh, where the flesh is here joining the, the two jaws together. And again, the interior of the jaw has been carefully sculpted and painted in a range of pink. So that's really nice. As we move down the neck, you can see we've got some nice creases there. And you can see the start here on the top of the head of the feathers running down the back. And that is absolutely fantastic to see on a dinosaur. Um, that kind of accuracy is always really appreciated. Again, as we move down to the arms, you can see we've got some more feathers around here. And you can see we've got some nice sort of um, membrane-like flesh joining up with the arms. So I suppose here what they're suggesting is that this dinosaur might have had like a, a, a winged feathered membrane. So I'm assuming this is quite up to date with some new theories about the Tyrannosaurus rex. I think that's cool to see. As you can see here we've got some nice scaling going on underneath the torso there and the belly. Got some nice tense lines of skin. You can see the rib cage protruding through, and again you can see this lovely line of feathers coming down the, the top of the leg there. Really nice musculature there, you can really see the tendons and the muscles flexing. And they've got a really nice contrasted foot. Now this to me again, very bird-like. If you look at birds, um, their feet always contrast their leg, it's like a really dark sort of uh, weathered look to their feet and that's really cool they've stuck with that idea here on the Tyrannosaurus Rex. You can see they've painted the claws individually with this nice glossy black as they have on the hands. A really really nice bone like feel. And then as we move down here to the tail you can see there's some nice creases behind the, the leg there and some nice striations running all the way along the tail and then as you get to the tip we've got this lovely bunch of feathers on the end a lovely sort of plume coming off at the end, really, really nice, and a lovely gradient from this sort of beige into this like sort of almost like a reddish brown. As we move round to the other side, again, you can see this is continued on the other side, running underneath and on the top, really bird-like, and I really, really like this. This is cool. And then as we move into the leg here, you can see the muscles are really obvious on this side, tensed up, and you can see here again on the lower limb, really nice and tense. 
And again, you've got these really bird-like feet. This one looks like it's more like it's peeling off the ground. Really, really nice. And then as we move up to the torso, you can see the ribs coming through. Again, lovely feathers around the arm, and you've got that same sort of membrane. Uh, it reminds me of the membrane that Spider-Man used to have under his armpit. I don't know if you remember that, but in the old comic book, Spider-Man used to have a little webbed membrane. So uh, <laughs> that's what it's making me think of. And again, you can see the feathers coming up here over the back of the neck. And again, just the eye, a little bit disappointing if you ask me, but I think that sculpt of the head is tremendous, and I do like the way it looks. A little bit reminiscent of the Thrasher T-Rex from The Lost World, if you ask me. So, here's the moment you've been waiting for. It's the Triceratops squaring off against the T-Rex. And don't they look fantastic next to each other? I just love the way the Triceratops has got this sort of defensive, um, standing its ground pose. And then you've got the T-Rex sort of lunging in an aggressive way. Really, really nice. And actually, looking at the Tyrannosaurus Rex from here, from front on, it's a really nice pose from all angles. Look at that. The way they've got the posing of the legs is just fantastic. The way they've pegged that one in. Fantastic. I do like the sort of um, black area around the eye as well. Um, from a distance, this Tyrannosaurus Rex looks much better. Uh, I just think they look great next to each other and are going to display lovely on my shelf. So, to give you some idea of the scale, let's bring in the tape measure. So you're looking at about three and a half inches for the Triceratops there, which is about nine centimeters long. And then in terms of his height, you're looking at about two inches, which is about five centimeters tall. And then with the T-Rex, let's bring in the tape measure again. You're looking at about 5 inches long, which is about 13 centimetres. And in terms of his height, you're looking at about 2.5 inches, which is about 6-7 centimetres. Scale comparison time. Let's bring in the Schleich Pentaceratops. And this one has been recently reviewed on the channel. So if you haven't seen the video for this one, the link is down below. Uh, but you can see here the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Triceratops are dwarfed by this figure. So it gives you a good idea of the scale. And let's bring in the Schleich Tyrannosaurus Rex. I don't know if he's going to fit in frame, but it just gives you an idea of the scale there. They kind of come up to sort of just around his knee. Um, so these are indeed minifigures. So there we have it guys, that was today's look at the Takara Tomy Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus Rex. If you want to check out more dinosaurs like these from this line, I'll put the links down to the other videos down below. Uh, let me know what you think of these. I think they're really highly detailed figures and beautiful for this scale. Um, I really like the way they've done the feathers and the membrane on the arms with this Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's just something I haven't seen in any other dinosaur figures right now. And um, I really like the display bases on all of these. I just think it's a really nice all-round set of figures. They weren't very expensive. These were £2 each, so that's about 4 or $5 each. Um, so if you do get a chance to buy these, maybe on eBay or other places, then I would definitely say pick these up. Okay guys, rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.